Shebear 1000 here. Do you want to see the accomplishments I'm making on the shop? Okay then, follow me and I'll show you around. You'll get to see what I got done just today. Okay guys, first thing I want to show you, here's one of them cards I was telling you about. It just fits that welder perfectly. Now this adjusts, this top piece adjusts, you know, just that T-handle there, you loosen it, raise it up or down. But it fits the little welder there perfectly. And this has got a key. Keep some stuff in there, uh, chipping hammers, whatever. Um, it's got a your top up here. Let me get a light on for you. You know, you can put bolts, nuts, washers, um, you name it, little things. You know, you're working on something, you put spark plugs up in here or whatever. Um, I got to peel all this stuff off. It's no good no more. And clean it all off real good. Um, I may even respray that. I don't know, but... I think I got some more of this stuff somewhere. If not, I can pick some stuff, some of that stuff up. It's pretty cheap. Over here we have another addition. Well, we got the cabinet over here. So that's got, you know, most of her stuff and uh, some things like that in it. This is an old toolbox. It used to be a toolbox. Uh, we do have the other two drawers. It's full of stuff. We just couldn't get it today. So. But it's got, you know, there's some tapes, some ropes, sandpaper. Uh, remember, they owned a motel for 20 years on Daytona Beach. So, of course, he was a maintenance man. And that's where a lot of this stuff comes from. There's a lot of, I'll have to go through it. There's a lot of usable stuff in here yet. You know, stuff I can use like this. You always need some of these things, you know. These things, why go buy them? Um, you know. Just uh, light switches. That's handy dandy. I'll be getting some use out of that, that's for sure. Um, you know, here's the thing. Oh, cool. I can put them over on the wall, which I will show you here shortly. Uh, these trowels, I'm not into concreting anymore, so I'll probably get rid of them. I may keep one, you know, one trowel, just for in case I have to do some you know some concrete work around here or something I may keep one so I'll sell I'll sell the other trowels and you know odds and ends um, say hello um, you know cutting discs you know grinding discs you know the uh, chop thing oh nice cool I'll get that out right now have a torch up here as you can see I moved my box my box over here now of course I don't have it cleaned off yet and it's not filled up yet There's a torch here I'll check this here in a minute and I don't have it cleaned off because this is what I was doing today this bench is exactly eight feet long okay so what I had to do was I had to run some wire some electrical I had to run electric out here to this. I, I put it on its own circuit. This is its circuit right here. Okay. So, uh, I just, I got to get a cover for it. I know that's not safe, guys. Don't hate. Um, but here, I put a light up there. Now, there's another one that matches that. I am going to put over there on top of that toolbox. We'll get to that in a minute. You guys already seen me inside that. But, I can just... There we got some light. The bulbs don't match, of course, but I don't have I don't have this bolted down. No, well, none of it is bolted down, but I do have the bolts for it. Like there's the bolts right there for this, and I got the bolts in a little container for this because you know I had to unbolt it to bring this thing in. Now the only modification I had to do, which I didn't really have to do, but I did it, was for this. This is where all the um, 
these welding rods are going to go, which I have all the welding rods there in a tote. Okay, so they're going to go in here. I'll clean that all out. So I just kind of cut the bottom out and slid that right in there. And there's the welder. So that's the 220, so I'm going to have to run 220 down, down to there, so I can plug that in and keep that there. Um, so, all these things work. There's my buffing wheel. This thing's badass. If I leave it on, it'll, that thing will walk all over the place. So I figure I'll be cutting something off here. I can grind it. Now what I'm going to do is I have one of these wire wheel, but I'm going to put a wire wheel on this side because a lot of guys I think this way he's got set up. You got your coarse stone over here and your fine stone over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to put a wire wheel on this side so I can cut something off, clean the edges, wire wheel it down, get the burrs off, and then polish it to a beautiful sheen, right? There's my light. I pull it up out of there. And on the tripod I made, I don't know if I ever showed you guys that. Then I got all the space down here to put, you know, like uh, my circular saws and stuff like that down there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put uh, two curtain rods, one on top, one on bottom, just run a little curtain across there. You know, it kind of cleans it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put a shelf up here. You know, from from here to probably here you know I may have put two shells that way I can put my WD-40 and all that stuff on it that's a hell of a vice there man that thing probably weighs 40 pounds and that's not an exaggeration I get welder I'll bet you a little welder there I'll bet you weighs 100 pound easy easy um, so over here uh, that's not where that's going to set okay I already showed you guys what's in the toolbox and stuff uh, this will be hung up somewhere. What I'm going to do, you know, I still got to get some glass for that so I can do the giveaway on that. But I'm going to come from right in here and I'm going to go over, you know, to the edge of that door frame there and I'm going to put me a shelf there. And I'll have uh, that way I can put my monitor for our cameras and the DVR up on it. So this is temporary because you know I'll have to get inside here. As you can see outside, that's uh, a lot of the stuff that was in here that I got to go through. Um, and then a lot of stuff's going to go out in the shed. Um, so, they, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool right there. Um, that's a saw and, you know, there's some more stuff over there. That's a Wagner power ruler, I think. Um, that's got stuff in it. I can't remember what's in it, but... Um, I'm going to clean it out so I have no place for it unfortunately but, see it's got uh, some stuff in it uh -huh. um, that. oil filter wrenches yeah and there's stuff down here I got to go through and, and there's a little multimeter. meter I got to test it make sure it works but that's the progress I'm making so far. I haven't touched this yet. Um, i got to get all this stuff sorted. It, a lot of that's going to go out in the shed. Um, a couple of them for parts, a couple run. That's a cool little air compressor there. That, that little box has got stuff in it. That little box over there has got stuff in it. Now I may use that box. I may put a couple wrenches and stuff in it to put in the back of the of our truck you know that's a palm sander up there but so that's what I did today we went and got that and brought it in and I didn't have to cut only down there and I didn't really have to but I thought you know um, you know I want my welding rods to be by the welder you know so and that part there you know, it's probably just going to sit right in front of this thing. That thing is on wheels and it rolls very easy. Very, very easy. So I just, because this is stuff that I'm not going to be in every day. And if I got to get into, my light just went out. And if I got to get in into it, I'll just wheel that. And the good thing about this is what I like is, well, I'm outside, you know, working on something. 
you know, I can throw a wrench set and a socket set up on there, wheel it outside to the Corvette, you know, and, uh, or whatever I'm working on, just wheel it out there and do my work and then wheel it back in when I'm done. So that way I'm not running back and forth in here, you know, getting tools. So, and that sat there, that sits there pretty nice. I gotta run an extension cord over to the plug over there. So yeah, that's uh, but that's the uh, that's what we've got done so far. So, um, monkey really likes it. Um, she's happy, you know, because once this is sorted out, I'll be able to, you know, I'll have a decent place to work on something in here. You know, I can never pull a car in here again. Um, we've had we we used to park the uh, our convertible before we sold it. We used to park it in here. But once you get a vehicle in here, guys, it's all you can do without any of this stuff along the walls. It was all you could do to get out, you know. And we got the washer and dryer up there, and, you know, the fridge is there. It was all you could do to get out of the car. You had to squeeze just to get out, so there's no way you could work on a vehicle in here. But it's good for lawnmowers, you know, small tractors. Golf cart might fit in here if I had to work on it in here or something. But So we're working on it. Um, it's hot, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and let you know, you know, give you a little update and let you let you see what's going on with my shop and bring you along with me as it progresses. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. And I am Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great week. We'll see you soon. Let's see if it works. Cool, that's good because this other one, it works fine, only the igniter doesn't work anymore. So, uh, you, you had to use your lighter, but, and I can get different tips for this. There's a place, a welding supply place right down the road here, just pretty much at the end of the street almost. Uh, it's called Air Gas, and they sell accessories for these things, so I can get different tips. That's what these little rings around here for you slide a tip on looks something like that you can get different tips and so there you go guys thanks